my friend who I adore and love, and I already miss, even though I saw him just a couple Wednesdays ago for the schedule release show, Pro Football Hall of Famer Michael <laughs> Irvin. How are you, sir? What's up, Irvin? I, I am doing well, man. I am doing well. Rich, let me tell you what's funny now. Yes. Deciphering exactly what Aaron Rodgers said. That, that now, and, and we're in the business of this. Yes, we are. And I've been scratching my head with that for a while. I said, I know he's not running for president, but he, but this, for the people and the people, and I, it was that was that was that was interesting. Well, I think he's the people, and the 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 people who's not considering the people in the organization are the general manager and the and the team president, who's essentially the owner who represents the uh, the the ownership group. Uh, and Mark Murphy. I mean, clearly that's what he's talking about. And, you know, even though he said he's still, it's not about the draft pick, it still is about the draft pick. It's about the fact that they started a clock on his window closing, which you, which any team that chooses a quarterback in the first round and in an era where you've got it three years to figure out whether they deserve a fifth-year option, he knows the clock started the minute that happened. And he, I, I think that's what, what I heard I'm last night. What, what I'm saying is I understand this world that we live in. Let's, uh, and and we, we have to present this front and present that this is the reason this calls. Just, just be real. Just say, hey, listen, you guys know, like I know, this is a business. And they're going to try to do me dirty. I'm beating them through it. We ain't got to go through all of this. We don't have to go through all of this. They're going to do me dirty down the road. So I'm just beating them too beating them to it. I'm going to do them dirty. So so uh, we can all love the Packers, and he loves the Packers, just like the fans love the Packers. But for the football player, it, 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 if you don't do it a certain way, then you're being disloyal. He has He's loyal to the Packers, but he has to be loyal to him too. And, and, and he saw what Tom Brady went through. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, I, I know if they didn't show Tom Brady any capitulation and great love, why am I going to ride this out? Why is that the hammer? Let me hit the nail. Let me swing it. And he's swinging it. It's about that. That's all it's about. You don't got to give me the, the, the president's speech about the people and the people are for the people. And the people he's about, I can tell you the people he's really about. And I don't mind. I love Aaron Rodgers. And I think Aaron Rodgers has every right to be doing what he's doing because it is a business. And the thing is, we got so much passion in the game of football that we want to just see the passion in the football. But this is big business. And Aaron Rodgers is doing big business. And so when Aaron Rodgers is talking about the people, let me tell you the people he's talking about. Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, all of those people that own dollar bills that will give him more power and, they, and let him consider his own future and not you consider those are the people he's talking about. But not Ulysses George Grant, right? You don't, you don't want 50s, right? You don't want $50 bills, right? We're talking about Ben Franklin. Uh, you know, I guess that's about it. No, he, he wants them all. He wants them all. Every last one. Yeah, George, yeah. George, George <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, uh, Abe Lincoln. All Andrew of Jackson. Those are the people. Those are the people <laughs> that he's talking about. I knew you were going in that way, too. I knew you were going dead presidents. I knew it. I definitely knew it. Oh That's exactly. Those, Those are the people, are the people he's the talking people. about. And that makes sense. But we, we can't just say that. We can't say it. The organization. Those are the people they're talking about because they're trying to figure out the best way they can get top play without giving out too many of those people, without giving out Ben Franklin's and the Thomas Jefferson and the George Washington. How can we get top play without giving out those people? How can we get the power? That's all. That's all. Them the people we're talking about when we're talking football. Yeah, now let's move on to the people that were talking about my people, the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that, Michael. Let's do that. By the way, before we talk about uh, Julio Jones and the Dallas Cowboys, uh, even though we just spent a few minutes on the Packers, I do want to let you know that you are on live television before we have this conversation, okay? Oh, I appreciate that. I'll let you know. <laughs> We're on there. <laughs> just want to let you know that. Uh, I feel, I just, I don't know why I feel the need to remind you, but I just, you know. How about that one, huh, Irv? How about that one? Hey, and, and, and to all those guys that are coming in the business. Yes. <laughs> You know that, that that that's a that's a thin line, and it's a, and, it, and it's 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 a, it's a tough line to walk, because you know we, we know guys, you know we're friendly with guys, and we know how we talk, how we talk, but but now you're coming into the business, and that whole situation 
Hey, oh, I, I, Shannon's not Shannon's not in the ambushing business. Shannon's one of the best people in the world. The reason they call Shannon uncle is because he's like that uncle. That's what a lot of young guys in the league call me to. They say, uncle, um, um, what's up, uncle? Um, you know, what's up, uncle? Um? Because, you know, you're like that uncle that, that, that comes over and everybody's cool with. You know, I, I, I didn't take offense to Julio. And, and first of all, for Julio to say he's not thinking about the Dallas Cowboys, how, how, how did you, how could you reach down, grab that shirt, see the name written across that shirt? And your brain not think on lining up for that star on your helmet. It's impossible in this situation. It's impossible for this to be real reality. You had to think about it. That's why you put it on. Julio knew what he was doing. He knew he was stirring the pot when he chose to put that shirt on. And he put that shirt on and got what he wanted. Because this pot... This pot stirs the real big pot. That Dallas Cowboy pot stirs the real big pot. Yes. See, so 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 that, that's the reality. So the and real he knew that the real big that shirt on the real big pot is the NFL. Uh, just I'm following you. What you're saying that the Dallas Cowboy pot stirs the real big pot. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, hey, hey! I tell you what. Earth. If he had put on uh, 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 any other shirt. It wouldn't have gotten this kind of wrong. Well, I don't know. Hold it on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll push back here. If he put a Saints shirt on, that's a different. No. Hold on a second. Okay. If he puts a Saints sweatshirt on, that's a whole different ball of wax in, in the ATL. Now, let me push back again. Okay. Oh, I ain't no doubt we will talk about it. We will talk about it if he had a Saints shirt on. Yeah. We will talk about it if he had on another team shirt. But it should not be talked about with the same passion and the same intensity if he had that on. It will not be a story ran for more than one day if he had another jersey on. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And so when he comes on and talk about he knows what he's going to get in Dallas, uh, uh, he's just butting up to unk. That's unk talk. <laughs> That's all that is. He, know, he knows his unk don't like the Cowboys, so at the time, he's just budding on up the um, um, You know what it is. Um, um, that's brother I, I call that brother-ology. Brother-ology. <laughs> They're just talking brother to brother. He can't, well, now, now I, I understand if Julio was coming from New England and was questioning the winning that was going on in Dallas, but he's not coming from New England. He's coming from Atlanta. How can you question the winning or lack thereof that's going on in Dallas when you're coming from Atlanta? You understand what I'm talking about? If we do a comparative analysis on the two, Atlanta would be like uh, the low city Atlantis. <laughs> Dallas is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. <laughs> we can't find Atlantis, but we can find Dallas everywhere. So you can't say that uh, 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 we know we're going to lose over there because you've been losing in Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? So so I know he didn't mean that. He was just doing unk talk. And he's a great dude. That's just unk talk. So unk talk, again, you're referring to <laughs> Shannon Sharp. And by the way, I, I agree with you. I don't think Shannon called him up to say, I'm going to get him to say something. And and I think he just whiffed on, on not being on TV as long as, say, you or – Right. Uh, you know, others. To, he he just whiffed on not saying, "Hey, heads up, we're on we're on the air right now." Um, right, right, right. And, and, you, and know, you know I, why he did that? Rich? I'll give him because, that benefit. Because, be, 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 right, right. He ain't trying to. Only and I'm gonna tell you this, and I'll give I'll go this forward. Please, I'm gonna give you some more brotherology. He Thank he, you. he he only did it because he knows Julio is without re, re, without reproach. He ain't got no problem. You, Julio, the worst he's going to say is, um, you, know, uh, you know I know that. That's the worst he's going to say. Now, if that was me, he knew he couldn't leave me out there like that with all these skeletons falling out the closet <laughs> right away. <laughs> well, you better tell me right away. But well, we're on TV, Michael. Oh, okay, boy, you better have to tell me. Oh, okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. You see what I'm saying? So, so he knows Julio is above reproach. Right. You can't find that bad on Julio. But but so so as he said, Unk knows how to talk to a brother. Unk, Unk knows. Well, but he definitely called him up to 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 troll on the Cowboys. That was the purpose of his phone call. Absolutely. But he also did know. I mean, it, this not the obviously that's not the first time that he, I'm sure, and Julio Jones have spoken in the past few weeks. Uh, he you know he also said you're going to stay in Atlanta, and he probably knew what the answer to that's going to be. Uh, certainly, if Ian Rappaport said that. 
Julio has been asking for a trade for months. He said months ago is where it was. So let's dive into that uh, in our last portion of this conversation. Michael Irvin is why do you think Julio wants out? Like what what do you think is up with that, that, that he asked for a trade from Atlanta and he's like, I'm out of there when there is Matt Ryan and Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley and, 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 uh, an offense that you could say is one of the best in the NFL coming into this year. W- w- why do you think he wants out, Michael? Yeah, it, 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 it's scary. That, that, it, it, if those guys could all be working together in harmony, that would be absolutely scary. When you're talking about Pitts, Wrigley, and, and, and Jones, Julio, man, that would be like, oh, my God. It, 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 that would just be a, a scary thing. But, but obviously what happens here, man, is, is we're, we're dealing with emotions. We're dealing with emotions. You know, you serve the place so long. Like Aaron Rodgers, you serve the place. You've given your all. and You've done it absolutely right. There's no, like I said, no pro, there's nothing you can come at this man with. He's been great, absolutely right. And then you start hearing all of these rumors about being pay, traded. And then it's not just, a, okay, you hear about being traded. You also hear why they're trying to trade you. They think you're on the, do- or you're on the back end. They, they don't believe he can do it anymore. This it's what made him great. He didn't listen to people then. So now he's not going to listen now. He's going to show you I still have it in me, and that's cool. I'll show you I'm out of here. And emotions get involved in it and, and, and gets in the way. So, so yeah, yeah, I, I understand him saying that, 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 yeah, he's out of there because he's hurt right now because everybody keeps bringing him up in the, in the trade talk. I also think that, uh, you know, uh, it's the Brady thing. You know, you mentioned Brady in reference to Rodgers earlier in this conversation. We had Matthew Stafford on the show yesterday. He 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 has said in print and and essentially uh, repeated it when he when I asked him about it, seeing Brady do what he did after 20 years going somewhere else. And maybe everybody figures, hey, 11, 12 years in one spot, it's enough. Let me go somewhere else where, where I will be far more appreciated. There won't be cap this, cap that. They'll, you know new coach this, new coach that. I'll choose the new coach, not not have it chosen for me. Maybe that's part of what he's going through right now at the end of his career, yeah. in a way. Right, right. But 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 only after after you realize, okay, they're not going to get, treat me like they used to treat me, and they're not going to give me what, what I feel I deserve. Tom didn't choose to leave altogether. Like, if Tom had his choice, they, they had to bring in more help, they had to done things differently, and he would have Wanted to stay right. He, I'm sure he would have finished. Wanted to finish his career in New England. But since all of those things didn't happen, and and, and they they were getting ready to show him the door, he went on and did what he had to do, which absolutely helps other guys like Julio and, and Aaron Rodgers. Saying, "Wait a minute, wait a minute," because it, it's the same thing. I remember when when Le- LeBron and D Wade was talking about it in basketball. They said, "You saw they got rid of Michael Jordan." So one day they're going to get rid of If they got rid of Michael Jordan, they're going to get rid of us. And Rodgers, they're saying the same thing. This is the reality of the game. So they're trying to beat you to it. And right now, Julio Jones, he said, I, I, I'll show you. He's hurt, and I'll show you. And, yeah, I, I'll go somewhere else and get it. I don't think Julio really wants to leave. I think his pain uh, of, of this last, of, of last year here is going to help him make a decision that I want out. Well, and then in terms of that, that let's finish up with that. Michael Irvin is where where he might go next. Um, we could not help but notice, and we wonder if you saw as well on Instagram at Michael Irvin eighty eight, DeAndre Hopkins putting out a photograph of him. Um, is that count? That's uh, AJ Green in his AJ Bengals Green. hat, yeah. uh, and Julio um, and DeAndre Hopkins all around you at a Pro Bowl. And it says, Julio, you remember what we talked about? Jalen Ramsey chimed in, relax. <laughs> um, so, you know, obviously Jalen can only take one of these guys uh, on the screen, AJ and DeAndre together in Arizona. What did you guys talk about that day? <laughs> <Earth. laughs> what did you, what, what was discussed on that day? I, I, that's funny right there, Rich. That is funny. But, but, but listen, I, I tell you this now. I have had conversations with, of course, with, with DeAndre and Julio and all of those. And, and we've talked the business of the business. 
just what we're talking about right now, the business of the business. We, we had that conversation. That, that Pro Bowl, I don't remember what year that was. That was years and years ago. We, we had a conversation. We had this conversation we're having right now about the business of the business. Uh, well, a year and a half ago, two years ago, when, when the DeAndre Hopkins stuff broke. That's I was on the phone with those two guys, and we were talking the business of the business. And they were already preparing and talking about this. Talking about, hey, you know, these teams, that's what they're going to try to do. So, you know, let's try to make sure we maximize whatever we have is business. That's it. They, they, I'm telling you, these guys are older. These guys are different now. It's not just about football. These are these guys see themselves as each individual business and businessmen, and, and, and they're trying to handle themselves accordingly. And the very, very the, the, the uniquely gifted kids, uniquely gifted athletes like the Julio Jones uh, or the DeAndre Hopkins, those guys are going to try to control more uh, of their future than, than just sitting around and letting people, uh, letting front offices do what they want to do, knowing – that ultimately they're trying to replace. So you're, you're saying there was no. You're saying basically, Michael Irvin, that 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 DeAndre Hopkins is reminding Julio Jones about the business of of business, and and he should utilize his business acumen right now. It just so happens that AJ Green is in that photograph with DeAndre <laughs> Hopkins, and that they're current teammates in Arizona. That is just pure coincidence. He's just reminding him about making a business decision. Yeah. And a smart one. That's all you're saying, Michael. So you, you so, so, so you, you, you think in this thing, AJ Green, all these guys playing on the same team. Yes. Uh, you, you're going, going, we're going to build a super team. <laughs> yeah, for Colin. Uh, that, well, that's one way to keep Larry Fitzgerald active. I think. Don't you think Fitz would have to say, I'd, 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 "I'd have to be the fourth man in here," Christian Kirk with a five wide receiver set? What do you think? That would be that would be unlawful. It would be unlawful. <laughs> <laughs> in fifty states, in fifty American together. states, yeah. And, and, and you know what? You know what's crazy about it, and why I say it's unlawful, Rich? Because they're all big guys with different skill sets, mm. with different gifts and games. So it's the whole football field. You come, DeAndre Hopkins goes over anybody here, catch any ball anywhere, anytime, and he can play in that slot. Uh, AJ Green is great at transitioning in and out of cuts, man. It can make, and, and, and Julio Jones can just flat out do anything. He can just flat out fly. So, so you're not duplicating, even though you're duplicating in great size with all three of them. Oh my God, we shouldn't even have this conversation. It, 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 it's like it, it's like treason to have that conversation. It'd be treason <laughs> against the NFL treason. to let all those guys play on the same team. Irv, I love you. You take care of yourself. Thanks for the call. I miss you. You're the best. Absolutely, man. But hey, wait, wait, listen. Uh, all y'all that's trying to take this, this, this Julio dissing the Cowboys thing, like the Cowboys, y'all got to stop that, man. That ain't true. That was just unk talk. Julio knows if he was with the Dallas Cowboys, he knows. Oh my God, his name. I was. We could, we'll see planes fly across the sky. God, and just write Julio Jones and just keep going. And his name would be so high in the sky if you put that kind of talent with the star on the side of his helmet, it would be insane. Well, <laughs> if there only was uh, an Amari Cooper photograph with you and Julio Jones that he could Instagram out saying, remember what we talked about, um, but unfortunately I don't <laughs> think there is such a thing. <laughs> All right, buddy. Take care. That's Take care. That's Michael Irvin, everybody. The people, just to wrap it up, uh, he says the people that Aaron Rodgers was referring to were the dead presidents on uh, <laughs> denominations of uh, U.S. Uh, currency. Um, he said Julio Jones <clears throat> knows the Cowboys are worth joining because they're winning. Unk talk. Uh, Unk is uh, Shannon Sharp. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 